the baby? How's everybody doing? Just chilling, chilling, chilling. So I'm gonna do something. Um, what it says is not reflect where I work. Are any people that I know that has a restaurant business? Who owns a restaurant? This is, this is just how I feel. Uh, so again, like I said, this has nothing to do with where I work at. So don't beat y'all on your keyboards. Oh my God, just talking crap about a job. I'm not. This is for anybody and everybody who works in the industry. I'm taking all my glasses so it's serious. For anybody that works in the industry of bars and restaurants, mainly restaurants. Okay, um, you know, I'm not smart at math, I suck at math. I suck at math. I suffer from my retardation. I'm not very smart at things. I'm a slow learner. I studied that for years and years. So, you know, seeing stuff, you know, being brought, you know, people brought this to my attention. And I was doing paperwork and stuff like that. People showed me some paperwork on some stuff. So, let me get this straight right here. It's cool that we got businesses and restaurants. For restaurants, so when we could do, you know, things like you take your family out to eat, go out to eat, and, you know, instead of just cooking it yourself, cooking yourself. So you got your, your dishwashers, you got your, your cooks, and your servers. Well, you know, you know, they're there to, to spoil you, to give you what you want because you're at their restaurant. But for any restaurant, no matter where you go, McDonald's, Rallies, uh, Ruth's Chris, uh, Portello's or whatever, just some restaurant you go to. Rallies, I mean, Rallies don't have servers and all, but you go to those places, right? So you have a guy that's, that does dishes, he's on a lower food chain. And they clean too, and they do all kinds of stuff. I'm speaking from experience from a friend. Um, okay, say for instance, this happens. They are told that their hours are cut. But wait a second. My hours are cut, but you know, if you look at certain paperwork, they spend like thousands of dollars on food products, cleaning products, you know, thousands of dollars each week, or every two weeks, or whatever, however, some business do with it, restaurant wise. So they're spending all that money so they can feed the people that come to that restaurant and they want to order steak, lobster, cheeseburger, whatever, right? So then they cut the lower person on a lower food chain their hours. They make $10 an hour, $9 an hour, whatever. So they cut that person on a lower chain level, they cut their hours so that they can save money, but yet they have no problem the people in the restaurant business with uh, having customers come in and be like, hey, I want the steak. Okay, that's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I understand it's a business, but you're also hurting the people who put their their hard work and dedication, sacrifice their family, uh, sacrifice all kinds of stuff for them just so they can make their business succeed. But yeah, you got the guy that's on the lower chain suffer. So like I said, this isn't against towards nobody, no, no restaurant in general, just restaurants all around. I got friends that work in the industry. Hell, I work in the industry restaurants. But it's crazy. Um, they'll, they'll take the staff member that's dedicated and hardworking and cut their hours so that they could feed another family or feed their customers, which, again, it's a business. I understand. But that's just how, that's just how the cookie crumbles. You got your guy that sacrifices, your, your girl, your, your, your woman, man, whoever busts their ass for that, trump, that company. In the restaurant industry, yeah, it's crazy, huh? This is a statistic. They spend all kinds of thousands of dollars and whatever on that just to take care of people that come into the restaurant. But yeah, they got a person that they, that works for them. They cut their hours and they they barely make a living for what they do. That's just something to think about. And people say I'm dumb and I'm retarded and I'm stupid. Get your facts straight before you criticize me. Like I said, you know, this does not reflect where I work at. People like to talk shit. People like to criticize. So again, like I said, this is just my thoughts on how it's crazy how the, in the industry works. So again, like I said, you know, raw and real, you got it. Brought to you by me, Jeff Landis.